Hey guys, it's Ostier Grimm again. I was browsing Reddit um, today and yesterday, and one of the regulars on there, Initix, had posted a comment saying that he wanted to look into Blender and, and learning some things about how he can modify the source code and do something that is kind of interesting with Blender. Um, what you see here when I do this, this is the, the cycles, uh, samples preview, um, the rendered uh, viewport mode. Um, what you're seeing here is, is kind of an annoying um, pixelation as it renders here. Now, when I've got GPU compute on, you know, this renders pretty quickly and I can render, you know, 10 samples pretty quickly. So, he was saying, isn't there a way that we could do this so that you're not seeing this annoying pixelation at first? And he wanted to make it so that Cycles automatically renders, you know, uh, two samples or, or five samples, ten samples, and then shows it to you in the preview. Um, I found that that probably wouldn't help the issue. That would create a lot of lag. Um, and I can show this to you by going to CPU compute. And actually, no. Go back to GPU compute. Well, what I found was uh, in order to do what he was thinking of is to adjust the tile, the minimum tile size to the actual tile size. This gets rid of this lag or this uh, the pixelation issue and automatically renders one frame or one sample. Um, so what happens is when you've got the minimum tile size set, um, sample or cycles samples portions of the image and renders it for you um, so that when you're using uh, CPU computing uh, you can see portions of it going along instead of waiting for that first sample to, to render. Now the reason why I said it would be kind of laggy if you had um, a preview set to 10 and uh, it just rendered out that one, uh, that, that final image was, I can show this to you while I switch this to CPU as I was trying to mention earlier, is that with tile set up to the full tile size, the minimum tile set up to the full tile size, you see that you don't get any update until you let go of the mouse. So you don't see anything. And that would be a big lag that would make it hard to actually see anything here. Um, so I'll put this back to GPU compute. Another interesting thing was um, doing animations with this. I did this, um, this scene to kind of have the, the monkey head fall down and hit the plane um, so I didn't have to do the modification I did it in Blender game so it was really simple. But I found that with the tile size set like this, I can actually run the animation and see it update live in the cycles preview, which is really cool without being annoyed with the pixel sampleation or the, the pixelation samples, which I'll show you here as I turn the minimum size back down. It's just that. 1024. So, again, if you've got a GPU that can do this um, and you're doing a screencast, turn this up. Um, it makes it makes the render a lot cleaner. It makes the screencast a lot cleaner. Um, if you're doing this uh, for yourself, you know that that's that's great also. But um, I think uh, Inditex was wanting to do this um, because of screencasts when samples renders are going on, it looks really pixelated and it looks kind of funky and you don't get to see everything updated live. So there it is. It's a, a simple fix. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it.